All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we are going to uh, check my mic because apparently it is buggy. What's going on? What's going on here? Ah, uh, no, I see what's going on. So <laughs> on that delay, just had to double check some stuff. But here we go. We're in for our first semifinal between Desolate and Lights Out. Desolate took round one quite early on, so great job on them. And now getting onto that bomb site, they might be starting to look in here, but here it is. Mm, they got somebody high in there. It's Ninja being sneaky. They do know he's there, though. Shots are going down on top of him. They might want to back away. Really just waiting to get that bomb was planted. Ninja is kind of just stuck where he can be. He's able to get out of there finally. Looks like he's just looking to maybe just save the round, to do anything to try and just prevent them from losing any bit more. <laughs> they are looking on the hunt right now. Velo wants to find him. Actually, Ninja does pick up one kill, doesn't pick up the second, and Terrace now desolate with a two-round lead. After this, we will be doing the semi-final for the loser's bracket. I don't know if that's going to be on stream or not. We will just figure this out. Winner of this one does go to our grand final. They will not have to play two extra games to get back into it. Actually, to the one extra game. And also, if you are from the loser's bracket, you do go down one map, I believe. So you only need just the one win to take it back. Up there, they're going to get a lobster. And already bomb gets planted by Velo. Wins up there on the side. Does spot out K Dog. Actually, that's Ninja. And Ninja actually able to one hit him in the head with the silenced USP. K Dog, Ninja. And had to do uh, quite a. quite a dangerous push here. It's not going to work out though, and they do get taken down. Looks like we might be having a pause come in here on server. We're going to see. One of the players is asking for a pause, so we'll have to double check that. Server did get paused there, so there we go. We're going to take a quick sec and figure out what's going on here. Actually, scratch that. It looks like we'll be getting right back into the matchup quite shortly here. I can just see yeah, a couple little things, but they are back. We'll be getting right away back into this one. Looks like it was just a little bit of lagging issues right off the bat, though. Spenny able to get two e quick kills off the bat here. Spenny was the one that called for the break, so maybe that's what the counter-terrorist needed. Master plan with that off was able to take out one, but it's a 2v4 at the moment. CT with the advantage have to see if they can find anything. Winsba gets taken out by Spenny. Spenny with three kills. Actually, it's two kills. That was K-Dog that picked up the kill. So it's just Master Plan alone trying to figure out a way around here. Looking to sneak around or something. Having some issues. Have to see what he can do. Looking just to find any member of the counter terrorists right now. Right now, CT Ninja gets taken out there by Master Plan. Master Plan now already on the run. Spenny and them dropping down. Want to try and find Master Plan. <sighs> Actually, the frag grenade is going to find it as K Dog and Ninja able to help and pick that one up. So, a one round take back here by CT. Going to do them quite good. Now, here with Spenny. Spenny having a good round last game. Does have that Molotov. Going to throw it into. Actually bounces off one of the drums, so not a clean one. It still does the job, though. So you don't actually smoke out into theirs. The lobster takes out Cerberus 
on the top side. Found them peeking. Meanwhile, Terrace taking a more higher approach. Spending them just watching this interior, making sure nobody goes on in. Frankster being one of the lone members back downstairs. Velo and them, they want to start making their way down toward this stair. The lobster does take out Winspa. He goes down himself. Ninja picks up a kill onto Velo. Ninja and them able to pick up two round wins now back to back after being down early. Great start back into their series. Ninja and them pushing up. Right now, going to put out that fire grenade. Lobster up on the rafters right now. K-Dog with two very quick kills. Gets another one fighting another menu member. Puts out the flames. Might be enough to almost take him down. Doesn't kill him immediately, but taking down three members outside of the T. Prankster picks up a kill there. Looking to finish it off with another. They know where the terrorist is. Just going to wait about. Flash does come out. Might see a peek coming out here. Has to look the correct way. Looks that way. Is going to find the headshot. And with that, CT have now tied the match. 3-3 three to three apiece. Frankster and them now moving up, looking for a more widespreading defense. Trying to see where they can find ways. Frankster is going to pick off the lone terrorist peeking there. Might see another one, does see the one jump over. Is able to come through the gap. And a close one does get picked off, is going to get taken out there. By a Tech-9, that is an op down for the counter terrorist. Now on to master plan of all people have shown very good skill from the op roll. Ninja just trying to blow out that door. Doesn't want to let anybody have any kind of protection. Now waiting Ninja, just waiting behind. Going to see what they can do. Vandalism. And them do see the, va the vandalism on the door. So it was shot out. So I want to see if they can peek through the door. Maybe use that to their advantage. They have 35 seconds left to figure out what they're going to be able to do here. So they're moving on in. Going to go straight down into the air ducts. We're going to push on in here right now. 3-3 three, three the score. At a disadvantage. Four members. Isn't able to pick up Ninja. As vandalism goes down, waiting might see the issue here. As that bomb is so far away, and with 10 seconds remaining, they are just looking to save the round, it appears, at least. They want to save that, at least that op from that master plan was able to pick up. Does get taken down, though, as Velo gets taken out. Master plan just waiting, hoping nobody can find him. He's going to be able to save that op, at least bring it into the next round now that they've gone down four to three but overall a very close match here master plan right now guarding this hallway, trying to find anybody at the boxes. Wants to see. Does get taken out there by Frankster. So the op is down. Down in that hallway. They might come and try and at least get it back. Spenny gonna grenade into the door he just shot out. 
really does not let anything go through there. Swinspa does pick up the kill onto a Lobster, has made their way in. Cerberus takes out Spenny. It's a 3-3 matchup here. Is able to pick up K Dog as well. Looking just to smoke out the area. Bomb is down. I believe in the middle here. As Ninja gets taken out. T side making a great push here. Frankster gets taken down, and Winspa is going to pick up the kill. Taking down three members of the CT side. And that ties us up at 4 4 apiece. See here now, tied 4 4. Want to maybe make a move up here. Can't see it. He's going to throw that flash. K Dog picks up the kill, picks up another one on Cerberus and Master Plan, holding that outside position. Gonna swap back in, move back in toward the ramp. Now into the bomb site, just looking to pick up anything. He's gonna clear out the grating so he can at least see in. Vandalism with them on the outside. Vandalism gets taken down. We're back here. CT take the advantage, five to four. One of our closer matchups of the day. This could be a final, depending on how these teams play. I'm waiting here. Just taking a quick look across the board. CT with a bit more of the buying power going against the pistols. T side looking to save at least. Minus vandalism actually went ahead, bought the AK. You see a lot of members. They were able to pick up the one kill onto Spenny, but a Lobster was able to answer uh -oh. back up here in top. Picks up another one, not able to get three. Swinspa is able to turn on him. Prankster, though, up top is able to get two quick ones with the help of K Dog. CT now going up six to four. And T-Side now pushed to the brink. Saved a little bit, but maybe not enough. So I'm just seeing pistols in the buy orders. And they're looking just to save. Hopefully get some money back for the armor and the AKs in the next round. Try and shift the momentum back. Have no nades available to them. So looking just to pick off as many kills as they can hopes of shifting this around next one k-dog and them able to pick it up spenny as well getting in on the fun up top prankster just looking to pick out any t's going over to velo looking to sneak up in hell Velo right now, looking for the backstab, will find it up top, is able to pick up the M4, picks up another one with the help of Windspa actually, keeping them alive, brings out the pistol, Velo, going off huge right now, picks up two quick kills on this pistol round, does get taken out, it's a 2v1, K-Dog quite low, Windspa does have that deagle, so one body hit will take out K-Dog, but then we'll have to deal with Ninja, with only about half a health and I think just a little bit of armor, I don't think enough, but... K-Dog in the end will pick up the kill. 7-4 to four CT, and after a rocky start and a tech pause, it looks like they're able to finally sneak their way back into this one and get a decent little round lead here. Is nuked, though, so we will be swapping out side shortly. It's master plan. Going to lead his team forward. Has that op available to him as well. Does get the boost. Is going to find anybody. Meanwhile, on the other half of the map, Frankster and Ninja able to pick up a kill onto Cerberus in the hallway. It's just going to smoke that out so they can at least look into it, move around. Still two T's out there. K-Dog actually into the smoke is able to pick one off the Lobster. Not able to find it. Master Plan did take out K-Dog outside. Has moved their way down into Secret. Looking to get into the tunnels. Maybe try and get a bomb plan. Does pick up the kill onto Frankster, so now they have a little bit of a advantage here. They're able to see who's coming around. 
Half health on Spenny. They do pick up the surprise there on Ninja. So 2v2, and CT have to come down to them. Vandalism outside, actually. Master Plan waiting. Don't want to make any some moves. Spenny just right above him. I'm able to find him. A Lobster making his way over might be able to spot him out. Battery's going to get sniped here. They're both going to almost run into each other. Luckily, the wrong vents. Who's the vents to peak right now? Spenny might be running in here into vandalism. Vandalism coming through the door. He's going to get shot and he gets taken down. Bomb is upstairs. Master plan looking to sneak on over. Trying to get a quick one. Isn't able to land the shot. And Spenny takes his team up four rounds. Eight to four here. Four. Lights out. Pretty close one. Now joining me is going to be the man himself of community gaming, Derek. How are you doing today, Derek? Good. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. It was getting a little lonely <laughs> talking to myself. I can feel that. That's why I'm here joining you right now. But uh, looks like another eco round coming out of the T side. 8 to 4 is actually not a terrible score so far on Nuke. Yeah. It is a fairly CT uh, favored map. So we're looking at an okay score here. But let's get back into the action. Vandalism outside is able to pick off the kill on K Dog. Bomb does go down. He's taking a look here. 3 to 3. Still no Ninja real finds armor. One. Hmm? Oh, we'll see if he finds a second one outside of Red Box, T side Red Box. Still looking up on Marshmallow. Not sure if he knows Vandalism dropped yet, though. Yeah, still a little uncertain there. He's going to move on out. Vandalism trying to sneak back into the lobby. Spenny might see him. Spenny will pick up the kill. With the bomb drop right in front of him, you're going to see the CT starts to rotate around the lobby area. And Master Plan is going to end up going straight into a pretty much a death trap if he decides to go through that door <laughs> just yet. He decides against it, maybe. He's like, you know what? There was smoke there, but that wasn't mine or my teammates, so I'm going to just walk away. At this point, you're just looking to use up some of the CT economy, right? Yeah. Find some frags and, um, and hopefully bring it back earlier in the, in, the, in the rounds coming up. But there's not too many rounds left to be worked with, so we'll see what the T's decide to do. At this point, they probably just have to buy out. So with Nuke, it is usually more or less a CT side of map. Nuke, yeah. Um, even with the new update, uh, that's why you don't see like landslide scores like maybe like 13 to 2 or something, which is actually very common in the old nuke. Um, but it is still a CT sided map. There gives, there is a lot more avenues and T's which can attack. Ooh, and a leg oh. shot comes in from Master Plan. He's still pushing in for it. He knows he's got the leg shot. He's looking for the kill, but does not find the team. Oh, and the <laughs> crossfire <laughs> Master set up Plan by ranks there. Baits his own teammate, but does find the return kill. But Ninja is now calling for help to the lower bomb site, going into decon, trying to hide. But no, Windspot finds that frag. Spenny now in that hallway, underneath Hell, looking to get it. Does get the frag with the grenade, so he's able to get out of there. Cerberus and Windspa still on the ramp. And now this is when T is actually in a terrible position. They don't have bomb. They're stuck stuck in ramp room. There actually is no bomb site that's easy for them to take whatsoever. And the CTs are just going to slowly pinch in on them and work the timer. We'll see. Cerberus saying otherwise. Wants to try and get out of here. Windspa actually going the exact opposite direction. So both kind of splitting up here. Cerberus going to ascend. Still waiting. Looking for anybody to be in here. Might see the one or two around the corner underneath at the site. Does not see Spenny, though, right underneath him. Will oh. finally peek him. He sees the gun. There it is. He's able to pick up one. There you go. And that's the frag they need to open up the map, right? Make sure they're not going to get flanked anymore. And now the CT's on. Going to get that bomb down. Coming up from the vent, though. The lobster gets taken out. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. K Dog has to come to the site though. Cerberus gonna look to wait this one out or maybe try and get the drop. He's making a Door lot of is noise. open. He's gonna get taken out though. 
And that's a great play, right? Um, the T's having the bomb advantage, staying quiet the whole time. You let your enemy make noise and you peek him before he gets into any sort of advantageous angle. So that was a great play by Cerberus. And just to let you guys know, um, most of these guys in the server currently right now are about LEM level. But I know on ESEA, a lot of them are A plus players. So um, they, if they do play more matchmaking, they are mostly supreme global players you have in the server. So this is going to be a really good match to watch. Well, final round of the half. Going to see if Desolate can get another round back. After a nice bit of play in the last one to get back that site. Over on the other side, Cerberus takes out one Velo with a double onto it. Master Plan outside takes out Ninja. And so there you go. Working the whole map. That's what they need to do. Switching sides here. Um, it does look like we had a little technical difficulties. Um, one of the players complaining a little bit about... All right, that's fine. Just as long as you're here for the final, that's all I think we care about. So we'll have Derek come around and immediately off the back, CT, desolate, able to pick up a quick round win. We'll have to see what they plan on doing here. Still a lot of cool stuff being planned here. We got some Rocket League planned over at the Extra Life table shortly too. That'll be taking place around 7 o'clock. Then after the Rocket League, like we said, very special surprise. Can't really tell it just yet. We're looking to involve a lot of people in the venue. You can guess what games involve a lot of people. What's super popular right now. So we'll have to see exactly what's happening. But right off the bat, let's see if Desolate can start making up some of this difference now being on the CT side. Gets some quick kills early. Cerberus and Windspa actually going down. Spenny did trade. Frankster now down to two health. So literally, a gust of wind will kill him. And that's what does. Velo able to pick that one up. Now swapping the momentum. Starting to catch back up. A three on one. Ninja does take out one of them. Does have that scout, actually, of all guns. Looking to pick off some members. Gets that bomb down, but it's not going to be enough as he gets instantly taken out by Velo around the corner. And with that, Desolate start to make a bit of a comeback here from the CT side. Always exciting to see when you get a little bit of a comeback happening. It is a expected swing of momentum, like Derek said. So we'll sh see whether or not Lights Out can stop a little bit of the bleeding. Have to do another save round, so might be seeing a very easily tied game. Can't disown the pistol rounds, though, as K-Dog actually gets some help from Vandalism and... Winsbug gets taken out, and CT able just to crush that round fast and tie it back up 9-9. Nine, nine. So we're going to have to see. Tied 9-9 nine, nine apiece. So we got to do uh, obligatory social media. <laughs> right now as Velo making his way over Squeaky is lit up by the fire Windspot does take out K-Dog elsewhere Cerberus right now picks up one does see another one above him and to the side so they are going to take him out Terror is still down one member Master Plan just keeping that back side occupied Master Plan making his way over. It's going to actually help his team take it as Windspawn Velo now are able to secure a lead for CT. Desolate 
after going down early, seems with the side advantage, they have made their way back into it. We're just waiting here right now. right now vandalism takes out ninja Terra is having to save this round with the pistols gonna likely go down here to two rounds so Wayne here out on the outside Spenny just guarding this ramp Looking to see if they can spot out any info right now. Having some trouble. Can't really find any members. Windspot is going to finally find one of the terrorists. Goes down incredibly low. Frankster gets taken out. Elop with no health. Windspot making his way out side. Looking for a member. Velo might spot one out himself. K Dog on the ramp. Have to be careful. Bomb does get placed. Is going to finally see K Dog there. Meanwhile, down. At the bomb site, E Lobster gets taken out by Winspa. B site not in the favor of the terrorists, and a single tap on the wall will take out K Dog. Winspa picks that one up. 9 to 11. Have a buy coming through finally from the T side. Franks are going to be the one running the op for them. Let's see how this game starts up. Now outside, Frankster. Looking from the top of the silo, will pick up the kill onto Cerberus. That was peeking. Bomb still down outside. Don't want to bring it into the action just yet. Frankster waiting around. K Dog wanted to find somebody. Gets blinded there. Nice flashbang. No follow up though. That's plan over on ramp. Gonna head on down into that B site. Wants to try and find a member. Windspot will take out K Dog. Elsewhere, Frankster and them watching the outsides. Master Plan might finally spot him. A little too late, though. Frankster picks up the kill. Wants to move on out into A. Velo on the ramp. Looking to clear it out. No one actually there, so a little bit of a waste, but has to be careful. Up right now is Vandalism. Looking to find Elobs or looking to find anybody right now. Doesn't see them on the other side. Windspa will take it out. Elobs are and sprayed at through the smoke. May go down here. As Velo's playing sneaky, not able to land it. Does get taken out as he peeked. And with that, CT takes another round this time will run out we're going to have another server pause So after a little bit of issues uh, with some uh, also the stream software, decided we didn't get intermissions anymore, but we're back into the match right away. Now to see how this one pans out. Ninja outside. Vandalism out there. On in. Ninja able to take out one K-Dog as well. Terrace needing to answer back some of these rounds. Bomb already gets planted down in the basement. Master Plan not going to pull the trigger on his own teammate. 
Does get taken out. Spenny with two quick kills. Master Plan going to peek that corner, and Spenny picks up three to finish off the round. So maybe that pause helped spike a little bit more interest into the team. We'll have to see how this one pans out. On board with Spenny right now. He's going to try and lead out his team. Meanwhile, over on the counter terrorist, taking up defense on the ramp. Cerberus outside. He's going to run into three members of the terrorists. Wispa picks up a kill, looking to find more. This is going to get aimed there in time. And now in the basement, Ninja and them moving that bomb over, passing it off to Spenny. Spenny coming up through, doesn't check that. Velo, though. We'll pick up the kill. We're in here right now. Winspa gets taken out by Frankster. Over by the ramp from the hallway. Ninja again taken out there by Vandalism. Frankster responds. Master plan alone. Try and save the round. Bomb is down in his favor. He takes out Frankster. That's the up down. Does spot out K-Dog. I don't think he actually saw him. I think he guessed and ends up getting taken out. As Derek is going to rejoin us. Hello, everybody. We had some technical difficulties. One of the computers was apparently rubber banding a little bit. Um, I'll be honest, it's probably not a server setting. It's only happening to one person. As we don't own any of these computers, we just did a restart and hope for the best. Well, coming back here, score is 12 to 11. Like you said, the CTs. Desolate on that sir on that side switch came on back. It's master plan outside. Going for this boost. China Cash just picking up the AK running back. Gets the guy on top of Marshmallow. That's Frankster down, so now they have outer control. Looking at the inner day, the T's have kind of made their way through ramp room all the way down to lower. But they don't have much map control outside, so if the t CTs wait out these nades, they might actually be able to get some good entry frags coming into this bomb site. Master plan coming in through decon. Going to peek his way on in. And we have can one only time assume time. someone's to the right will spot him, but won't take him out. And that's confirmation for the CT says there's two in radio room or control room. Oh, but vandalism didn't even bother checking it. Want to look through this door right now. Vandalism is going to instead see Spenny. Only has the pistol, and that's not going to be enough. And the terrorists, lights out, are able to tie it. I'm about to say, I'm like, he's looking pretty good in the last couple rounds. He's been getting a lot of good frags. Uh, and as we say that, we'll have to go and check on that one. Derek's going to leave, uh, not too sure what to happen there. All right, so after dealing with a tech issue... It appears we are back very shortly. Sorry about those guys. We had to, uh, apparently, apparently, from what I'm getting, his, uh, apparently he got back in anyway. So we're not exactly sure what happened. From what I, from our understanding, somehow he enabled a team swap, and uh, that's what ended up killing him. But he's back in the game at this point, so doesn't yeah. matter a whole lot. We're back, at least. Without armor, he couldn't buy, so he picked up his weapon. He's downed, and um, all drama. So let's get back into the game, and let's just remember. They're doing good for it right is. now. For considering they were down, they were able to actually take a small little lead there. But it seems like the CT have secured it up. Do have the bottom half of this B site. Pretty safe, but he Lobster is able to spot out Cerberus. And they're able to get control of that bomb down. Going to plant it. Bomb 
awaiting in a lobster. I have to see if there's going to be an attempt on to defuse this or vandalism won't, but he gets taken out by Frankster. And the tier, uh, the terrorist, <laughs> now take advantage. Hopefully we're getting close to the end of at least this semifinal. After this one, there is a loser's final and then a final final. We'll be coming back for the final final. After that, we will be starting up the server. A special little surprise here for Fraga. Hopefully everyone will have a lot of fun. Ninja right now gets the kill. Frankster in the lobby and the hallway. Train back, has some backup available to him. K-Dog underneath as plan, trying to find them right now. Doesn't get it as he's taken down in trophy. Frankster gets the kill. Spenny trying to find somebody. Gonna just clear out the grates. So he doesn't get sneaked up on. Knows wind spa is around there. Keeps looking for him. Actually goes down. Takes a little bit of damage. He'll get taken out. Windspawn now going through. Picks up the AK. I don't know if that was auto pickup or not, but it definitely was not a situation you want to be swapping weapons. Well, he gets taken out. Vandalism gets destroyed as well. It's just Velo against two. Frankster down pretty low. Only needs one shot to take him out. And if it's close in rough range, he needs only one shot to take out the lobster too, but does he know what HP he's at? Lobster sitting around 50. Making his way down into this site. From the sounds of it, actually, that bomb is about to go off. So Velo going to save this round, save the op, and bring it back. Terror's up two rounds, needing only two more to win. It's pretty much up to Desolate to make their way back into this one. Need to win a couple rounds back to back in order to tie it up. And just looking across the board. The eco is not too good on Terra's side, so um, definitely if Desolate can take this round back, um, they definitely have a chance, and that's a great opening from Velo to bring the rounds back. But Frankster returns one at ramp room onto master plan. Let's see what T's are doing. Again, working the outside. That's the most important part on this new addition on the marshmallow and the ramp, uh, the catwalk outside. Velo not able to connect with that shot. Not able to hit that one either. A little bit off. And this is exactly what you want from the CTs. You end up forcing all the Ts in one small area on the map. Now you see the Ts even on their, they're watching their own spawn even. Yeah. Spenny and them having to back off. Don't want to go against. Looking just to pick off Winspa. Spenny though, will be the one getting picked off. Now it's up to Frankster. Oh, He's gonna find that one with a cheeky little peek. This is when the CTs definitely don't want to make any more peaks. There's only 40 seconds left in the round for one person to work on to three guys on the map. Not easy, and he's down to one HP already. And it's a theory, CSGO theory. Three can always drop two, but two can never drop three. So keeping three alive is definitely crucial. And Frankster with only one HP knows the situation is he's in. Backing up to spawn, hoping to see if they get a random guy hunting him down. With that, they're going to save the op at least. Give one round back to the CTs. And that's what Desolate needed. It was a good showing on this one. No one's going to go back there and check, so they take the round. Bring it within one. And this is the point where, do the T's buy or not, you do have a double drop from your lobster coming out. And yeah, it is going to be a full buy, so it is going to be a double drop coming from a lobster? Is that what you can call here? A lobster? A lobster. A lobster. Yeah, but it is a scrappy buy. You got a P250 and UMP and just some nays across the board. We'll see what they can do with this one. Look to maybe get the surprise on somebody. Peeking outside with a P250. I don't know if that's the gun you want to lead with. Well, he's coming on through. Did smoke and the flash. Now the rest of the team coming behind him, Ninja and Lobster. Frankster really needs to open up with this aught right now on top of Marshmallow. 
looking the right direction, but not getting the peek from the CT side. And K Dog made it all the way down to Secret. And Master Plan picks one off onto Prankster on top of Marshmallow. Ninja probably going to go re retrieve that weapon. Oh, and here you go, uh, Vandalism. Chris here is boosted up on top. There. Oh, and there you go. And that's probably the round from the terror side. And that's going to hurt because that's going to be. Because those were a lot of buys. They don't have a whole lot. That's only going to be 1900 bucks. So the next round has to be a full eco if they want any chance into tying the series or the match. That or hope for some luck, but you don't really have a whole lot they can do. Just have CT play it back, play safe. They do have the bomb and they do have position on the lower bomb site. So if they could get the bomb down and just run away and let them get the defuse, that might help them economy wise. Oh, well, bomb is going to go down. Yeah, at this point, you might even want to just do a one man defense and hope that one guy can hold off long enough and just save the AK somewhere else. Oh, he gets one though. Able to pick up Winspa. Has to come around the corner though while reloading. And that costs him. He goes down. Oh, K Dog is still going for it. He does delay it. The Molotov does not land on the bomb. So the defuse is going to come in from the CT side, making it an even 14 to 14 with a huge quiver. So now we're looking at the money on the CT side. They are going to be able to buy out for the rest of the ha uh, rest of the match. So the T's definitely they should be saving here. Yeah, and they are definitely doing a full save. Spending spending a little bit. Really, of course, this would be the match you take all the way down to a well, a very close tied game, maybe in overtime. Depending on how it goes. After the bajillion pauses we had, we'll have to see. Spenny and them want to peek through this door. Gotta be careful as Velo opened up that door and he took a lot of damage trying to peek. Putting out the flash as go through. Any flashes. <laughs> <laughs> Cerberus putting down the Molotov in there. Yeah, Milo did pick up the kill finally on Spenny. He peaked again. Terra is having a lot of problems right now with only those pistols. They're going to make their way down the mm -hmm. ramp. Master Plan only gets the leg shot. But that's the armored player down to 16. Not given too many chances to get back into the round. Surrounded on both sides. And not much left Frankster can do. Can oh. he get that one back? Got oh. the knife out! <laughs> Picks up some good money. You know what? That's an op for the team, and he does find an op as well. So let's see if he's gonna push. Going for the hero play, not gonna make it happen. But though. that knife made it just possible for them to get a op with armor on everybody. So we'll see what they choose to do. That's actually a very important knife kill to get them that op into this next round. You can see it. Just slivers of cash left. CT can take it. We might be going to an overtime. Just what we needed. <laughs> exactly. After how many minutes of pauses <laughs> we got going. So we'll have to see. Ninja playing quite passive. And I'll be honest, Ninja does look a little bit intimidated at the moment. Uh, not making those confident peaks he's been doing throughout the day. Well, Master... Master Plan was able to pick out that outside kill. And yes, yeah, see, you, they do notice that there is probably oh, a Oh, that's another play. one that went down. Spenny Ooh, gets taken out. Ninja also gets taken very low. They have to back off. This could be the game here. Full HP, full nade still on most oh, of the Oh, they're getting picked off one by one. K-Dog went down. Desolate looking to clinch the match. That's a with lot just of two more kills. So they've definitely made full noise. And Lobster, he went down. Trying to go for the full. Oh. Here we see. Going to be peeking around, but that's going to be it. As Desolate takes the series, they will be our first finalists. for our grand final. And with that,
We're going to go ahead, take a quick break, and also play out the loser's bracket final, which will be between Lights Out and, <laughs> and 780. So we'll have to check that one out. We're going to go quickly to a break. We will